Thank you, Captain Dumbletwit, said the Fringle Frangle Lump. You have saved the... Bless you, Grandpa. Oh. Grandpa couldn't stop sneezing. He always gets the sneezes at this time of year, when the cherry blossoms on the trees. Bless you again, Grandpa. Miss Smiley's asked me to pop into her cafe. She's had to go away, so she's left Mr Whoops in charge. Now, where did I put my bag? Mr. Whoops in charge of the cafe? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. And Grandpa was right. You see, <gasps> Mr. Whoops is called Mr. Whoops because he's always having little accidents. He drops things. He falls over things. Whoops. He falls off things. Whoops. He even trips over his own feet. Whoops. Oh, yes. With Mr. Whoops in charge, there was bound to be chaos in the cafe. Where did I put it? Can we come with you? I really fancy an ice cream sun. Bless you. Bless you. Jason can come, but I don't think you should, Grandpa. There's so much blossom about. You'll sneeze even more if you go outside. But, Mum! I've got to come to the cafe. Sneezers or no sneezers. Mr. Whoops will need my help. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. in my plane. Where's Grandpa? Go for a little lie down, I expect. That's what everyone thinks when Grandpa goes missing. I'm the only one who knows about his shrinking cap. <gasps> there you are. Come along, Jason. There was nothing for it. I had to go. So off we went in Campo to Miss Smiley's cafe. Soon, Mum said, I'm glad Grandpa decided not to go out. It was very sensible of him. And I thought, Grandpa? Sensible? If only she knew. Miss Smiley's Cafe at the end of the pier is the best cafe in the world. And today, Mr. Whoops has added his own special touch. Cherry Blossom! On the tables, on the counter, everywhere! Mr. Whoops' ice cream sundaes were almost as good as Miss Smiley's. Just as well Grandpa didn't come. Mr. Whoops has brought the outside inside today. Grandpa would never have stopped sneezing. Uh, uh, and that was Grandpa sneezing right now. Of course, I had to pretend it was me. Ah, 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 chew! Bless you, Jason. More strawberry sauce, anybody? Mr. Whoops had had an accident with the strawberry sauce. Yes, please. Now was my chance to talk to Grandpa. Grandpa, you nearly gave yourself away just then. I know, I'm sorry. It's all this cherry blossom. Why don't you just go home? Mr. Whoops is doing fine. He doesn't need any help. He will in a minute. 
Guess who I saw on the pier making her way here? Lady Prigsbottom! It's your ladyship to you, small boy with an ice cream moustache. This was bad news for Mr. Whoops. Everyone in Sunny Sands knows Lady Prigsbottom. She's famous for having a very big house, a very smart car, and a very straight face. What's all this rubbish? This is my table. Miss Smiley always leaves this free for me. Clear it and make it snappy. Yes, your ladyship. Of course, your ladyship. Lady Prigsbottom was surprised to see Mr. Whoops covered in strawberry sauce. <laughs> Somebody get a cloth! See what I mean? Mr. Whoops is going to need all the help he can get. Mum tried to calm Lady Prigsbottom down, but it wasn't working. I'm sorry to leave a very stubborn stain. Sorry about that, your ladyship. What can I get you? I'll have a paradise pineapple pizza, a scrumptious chocolate cheesecake, a big banana shake, and make it snappy. Get off. There's only one way to help Mr. Whoops, and that's to put a smile on Lady Prigsbottom's face and make her see the funny side of things. You'll never do it, Grandpa. Oh, won't I? I have a brilliant plan. But there was no time to find out what Grandpa's brilliant plan was. Mum was coming back. I've got to hide you, Grandpa. Uh, 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 chew! Bless you. Don't tell me you've got the sneezes too. Let's get this blossom out of your way. This was a disaster. Mum was really close to Grandpa. One more sneeze and she'd find him. The good news was Grandpa had managed to escape. The bad news was that he was going to carry out his brilliant plan. You, waiter, with the red dribble down your front. Whoops. I want a large leafy salad to go with that pizza and make it snappy. As snappy as a crocodile, your ladyship. If I wanted to see a clown, I'd have gone to the circus. <sighs> Mr. Whoops was working as fast as he could, and he wasn't the only one. Grandpa had made a smiley face on the pizza. Look, there's a smiley face on this pizza. I'm sure it wasn't there before. Everything smells in Miss Smiley's cafe, even the food. <laughs> With a bit of luck, it'll make Lady Prigsbottom smile too. <laughs> But Lady Prigsbottom was in no mood for smiling. I've never had such appalling service. We must all complain to Miss Smiley when she gets back. We must write to Mr Crump Grumble, the taste tester from the town hall. Uh, 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 <coughs> all the sneezing made Mr Whoops jump and sent the pizza flying. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Get your just... sticky fingers out of my expensive hairdo, too. I will bypass the first course and go straight for the dessert. Assuming you can keep it on the plate. Scrumptious chocolate cheesecake with extra cream, a big banana shake and... Make it snappy. Yes, of course, your bottom ship. Uh, lady ship. <laughs> it's not your fault, Jason. It's all this cherry blossom. You can't help it if it makes you sneeze. I think we should go home. No, we can't. Um, I, uh, I haven't finished my ice cream sundae. There was no way I could leave Grandpa now. I was sure he was working on another brilliant plan. And I was right. He'd made a smiley face on the chocolate cheesecake. Would you believe it? Another smiley face. If this doesn't make Lady Prigsbottom smile, nothing will. Do go carefully, Mr. Whoops. So Mr. Whoops took the smiley chocolate cheesecake with extra cream to show Lady Prigsbottom. I was hoping this time Grandpa wouldn't sneeze and make Mr. Whoops jump, but... <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Oh, 
sauce, cream, chocolate. I look like an ice cream sundae. <laughs> yes, I suppose you do. <laughs> Everyone was laughing, Grandpa sneaked down to the cafe, got into my toy plane and flew off. He arrived back home just before me and Mum took off his shrinking cap and went back to his normal size. Just in time too. Brilliant plan, Grandpa. I couldn't have managed without your ha 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 chewing. <laughs> That's what I call Teamwork. Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good job you didn't come with us, Grandpa. The cafe was full of cherry blossom. Poor Jason couldn't stop sneezing. Really? I'll go and get some tea, Grandpa. Good, and make it snappy. Oh, that's what Lady Prigsbottom kept saying. <laughs> How odd! <laughs>